Hello, lovely dilutionists. I'm absolutely full of cold. I'm streaming with cold and flu. It's all in my head. So I'm sorry I speak like this and I do apologise that I look like this as well. Um, but I just need to tell you about um, two classes this month. And I knew I should have filmed this before Christmas when I felt better. But anyway, so it's going to be a short one. OK, so um, I've got two classes going on this month um, and then I fly to Ohio, I fly to Stampus Anonymous to do two in-person um, three-day events, two and three-day events there. So the classes that I've got online this month, I've got a five-day class, which is going to be Sunday the 15th of January. So 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, Sunday to the Thursday of January. And that's going to be a make your own journal. And then on the Sunday, the 22nd, there's going to be a lucky dip class because I think I fly the next day. Can't remember. Yeah, I think I, I either fly the next day or the day after. OK, so the five day class is going to be um, distinctly dilutions 39. It's just going to be called Make Your Own Journal. OK, and I was trying to find the sample. I've got a sample in mind and my brain is just not working. So this is a really old sample of it really really old okay so we are going to make a journal like this you're going to use pages from your actual journals and so you can use a combination of anything from the classics they're going to be the large journals so you could have them all torn out from a, a normal journal or you can use the classics journal you can set, tear some craft and some blackout if you've got a diary or if you've got any of the jump start pages that are ready decorated you could use those if you've got any pages lying around um so you know i always have pages lying around like that we can use those we are going to be doing paint effects on them but it is nice to add in the craft and some of the black and some of the i'm sure i just saw a ready-made page maybe i didn't you know like the ready-made uh, so we're going to be doing those if you've got any old scrapbook papers we can incorporate those in as well so we're going to be doing paint effects on there again apologies these are really old we're going to be adding ink in um different you know different we'll make some we'll make some textured papers i'm so sorry this is dropping to bits it's that old uh, it's driven me mad this morning looking for it look you can add in some scrapbook papers um that's a very dark one it's rather gorgeous isn't it so we're going to be doing some inking everything like that and so all you what you need is you need journal pages um, unless you want to make a smaller one, but this I like this size. This is a really nice size to work on. We're going to be putting um, my sticky back canvas on, the decorated ones. You're going to need two. OK, you're going to need a minimum of two to make the spine with. And we're going to be putting covers on. It's up to you whether you do ribbon. I obviously made this when ribbon was really in. Look. I don't often use ribbon nowadays, but I can we, I can put ribbon in to show you. And we're going to put the covers on. And so what we're mainly going to do, we're going to be using paints. We're going to be using inks. All the pages are made separately. So we're going to use the um, gel plate. We're going to use the sprays. We're going to use the shimmers. We're going to use the brayers. We're going to we're just going to have a really messy week of just decorating all these different pages we're going to be spraying we're going to be stenciling we're going to be adding borders we're going to be incorporating the different bits we'll probably add tags and probably add a lot of tags and things like that in and then at the end of the week we will have made the book and then further down the line maybe in february we'll decorate the book we'll do another course where we start um decorating all the book oh that's a lovely old scrapbook paper that Jay made one time um so further down we you know we will actually decorate uh this book ourselves 
okay it's up to you how many pages you put in it um you can do as many, as little or as many as you want but what i'm envisaging is it's a lovely nice size you're going to decorate it so then when we start doing the pages it's something that you can take with you you can put that in your hand you can take it with you on your journey okay so D distinctly dilutions 39 the 15th 16th 17th 18th 19th of january 6 30 p.m uk time which is 1 30 p.m eastern time and i think it's is it 11 10 30 p.m western time um but 6 30 p.m uk time um over on the website time review and more and then on the sunday after sunday the 22nd we'll do a lucky dip if you've never done a lucky dip with me before it's a surprise you never know what you're doing until the day i never know what i'm doing to the day and i set myself a challenge um and that day i go through old journals and i look at pages that it could be anything from last year to 12 years ago and then I'll remake it um, and we'll remake it in class. And they're usually great fun because you never really know what's going to happen. So that's just a one night and that's on the 22nd. So, right, I am going to go slowly die in my lovely, in the cottage by the sea that I retreat to. Um, and I think I'm probably best there on my own, me and the cat. So, um I don't think I'm going to be up to anything. I'm just I think I'm just going to get in front of the log fire. I'm just, oh, I'm so sorry. That's <laughs> all you need, isn't it? My ill-looking face here at the beginning of the year. Anyway, um, I hope 2023 leaves you happy, healthy and prosperous. And uh, thank you so much for all your support that we've had. We really, really, really appreciate it and hopefully you'll continue to, put, to support us in 2023 and we will continue to support you back. Okay, 